Hey everyone, so this video is gonna be the products I've used up video. I have about 197 million things right here that I need to show you, so you might wanna grab a snack. It's probably gonna be a rather lengthy video. Um, but just like always, I'm just gonna show you everything that I have finished and tell you whether or not I would repurchase it and kinda of tell you why or why not. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so typically I'll split this video up into categories like makeup, skincare, hair. I kind of just wanted to do one gigantic video because recycling comes tomorrow and I wanted to go ahead and get this video up so I could go ahead and put these things in the trash. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with hair products. The first thing I have is the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Deep Cleansing Shampoo. I really enjoy this. It doesn't have sulfates, but it still gives me a really deep cleanse and it makes my scalp feel really nice um, and it helps with like any itchiness, any dandruff, anything like that. Uh, if you have eczema, psoriasis, it's supposed to help with that also. And the smell isn't too bad, it's pretty clean and it's about $10 and it did last a long time. So I would definitely repurchase this. Sticking with the Shea Moisture line, I have the African Black Soap Dandruff and Dry Scalp Elixir. This was a cool product. I just like sprayed it on my scalp when it was feeling itchy and like massaged it in. So that's kind of a cool concept, but I think that I could easily find something else that would do the same thing. Like um, maybe just some tea tree water with some water mixed in, some tea tree oil and some water, like with tea tree oil, tea tree water mixed in, something like that. That would like um, make my scalp feel like cool and refreshed or anything like that. So I don't think I would repurchase this. The next thing I have is the Shea Moisture Curl and Style Milk. I really like this as kind of like my leave-in, a light styler, but I would still go on top of it with um, the smoothie or some type of gel because this doesn't give me like the hole that I want, but it smells good. It gives me a lot of hydration and it doesn't build up super quickly in my hair and I like the way it feels. Um, it gives it a little bit of slip. So I would repurchase that. The next thing I have is the Jessie Curl Confident Coils Styling Solution. I didn't really care for this. I like the Jessie Curl uh, shampoo and the like deep conditioner. I didn't really care for this as a styler. The smell is pretty cool. It's a little fruity, um, but this built up in my hair like way too quickly. It was like instant white flakes all up in my hair as soon as I put it in. So definitely don't want to purchase this again. <laughs> all right, the next thing I got is a birthday present from one of my best friends, and this is the, I guess it's a Cure uh, shampoo, the Moroccan Argan Stem Cell and Argan Shampoo. It's like a completely like vegan product, um, color safe, gluten-free, sulfate-free, paraben-free, cruelty-free, no synthetic fragrance. It's 100% biodegradable. It smells like um, ginger. It smells, it has like a ginger kind of like more fall scent, but I really enjoyed this because it make my, it suds up like crazy and I, I'm just a sucker for that even though it doesn't have sulfates in it and it really thoroughly deep cleansed my hair. So I would definitely, definitely want to tr check this out. I'd have to Google it and see where they sell it because I don't think it's in like, you know, any drugstores or anything. I have is the Moroccan Argan Oil Conditioner from Organics. This is pretty cool. Um, I'm not super picky about rinse out conditioners, so I don't really have a problem. I was using this as a leave-in because I had like left something. I didn't, I went to like stay with a friend, didn't have anything, so I just kind of picked this up. So it's really thick, so you could definitely use it as a leave-in, um, and it would give you like a lot of style, but I mean, it's nothing like essential, but I do like it, and I have like repurchased these over and over. Last thing for hair I have is the Miss Jessie's Baby Buttercream. I purchased this several years ago, actually. Probably like... I don't know, a year and a half ago maybe. I used to swear by it. It's just a really thick moisturizer. Um, it has a plastic smell to it that I don't care for and I don't like this anymore. Um, I always knew it had mineral oils and petroleums in it. It kind of never really bothered me, but I think it kind of just dries my hair out. Like it feels moisturized right when I use it, but then I think it just kind of dries my hair out over time. And plus it's really expensive. This is like 40, like $50. So I won't be repurchasing this anymore. And the next things I have are just some body care items. This is like some banana boat tanning oil. Um, so if you do like try to get a tan on purpose, this stuff is really cool. It only has like SPF, Four, so I would use an SPF definitely, but you could put this um, on top of it. It just makes you attract sun more. <laughs> All right, the next thing I have is the Victoria's Secret um, Very Sexy Body Mist. It smells pretty good. It's definitely more of a nighttime scent. I've repurchased this over and over, and it's kind of something that just like a quick thing to go to, so I would definitely repurchase this. The next thing I have is from Victoria's Secret. This is a pink sun-kissed body lotion. 
It smells really, really good. I, I like, um, not a body lotion, like a body cream. I like body creams, um, souffles, body butters, anything that's a lot thicker because it gives me um, a lot more hydration and it actually, I feel like it softens the skin more. So I've purchased like many of these over and over and over. It seems like every time I get one, it's like, uh, these are like limited edition. I don't know if it's limited edition, but anyway, definitely would repurchase these. And the next thing I have is a little bit more personal, but it's the Nair Shower Power Max um, hair remover. I've gone through like 10 or 15 or 20 of these. This is what I use like on the bikini area because I don't like to shave it because it's like super sensitive. So I like using this. Slap it on, leave it on for like 10 minutes, hop in the shower, you can shave your legs in the meantime while it's still doing its thing. You can rip, rinse it off. It comes with a sponge that's really cool to apply it with and remove it with so you don't really have to get your hands dirty. It has a pump, so that's pretty cool. This is like seven or eight dollars. You can find it anywhere. So the next things I have are all face skincare items. Um, the first two that I'll talk about are from Pacifica. This is the Dreamy Youth Day and Night Face Cream. I actually really like this. It didn't give me, um, this is like cruelty free, vegan, you know how Pacifica is. Um, it's supposed to transcend aging, restore signs of youth and be for all skin types. It felt really good. It's a little bit thicker, but not too thick that using it during the daytime makes me disgustingly oily. The only complaint I have is the smell. It smells like very mature perfume and I hate that. Like I don't want my face to smell like perfume at all. So I would not repurchase this because of the fragrance alone. And then next I have the Seafoam Complete Face Wash. It removes makeup, um, cleanse and tones. It has coconut water and sea algae complex and powerhouse antioxidants for all skin types sulfate free and this has a much more like it has a cool coconut smell to it so i love this it doesn't lather a lot but it's a really nice kind of gel consistency it doesn't dry out the face it does remove all products so i would definitely check this out again because i really enjoy using this cleanser the next face wash i have i have like several face washes okay the next one is the up and up renewing cleanser this came with like um this repairing treatment, which is like benzoyl peroxide, it also came with a toner, which, you know, I ran through the toner rather quickly. So the cleanser, I really like. It has very tiny micro beads in it, so it does a really great job of exfoliating, and it has benzoyl peroxide, peroxide in it, which is like the only kind of, besides Retin-A, the only like topical agent that'll work on pimples on my face. Um, so I really enjoyed using this. And then I loved this stuff right here, the renewing treatment. You get two ounces of this. I probably had it for like a year and a half, almost two years. And I just finished it like last night. It's great if you have any type of um, large pimples, slap this on and it diminishes the size of it rather quickly. Not like overnight, but rather quickly. And you can like layer this. Sometimes I would use other like benzoyl peroxide or salicy salicylic acid and when you would put it on, if you tried to put anything over it, it would kind of just bead up. That doesn't do this. It absorbs into the skin and then you can apply more, you know, throughout the day if you want. If you have some like crazy gigantic crater on your face and you want to keep putting more on it. This is really cool at drying it out. So I would definitely repurchase that again. Next, I have the Neutrogena Clean Pore Cleanser slash Mask with Benzoyl Peroxide Acne Treatment. This is pretty cool. It's just like a really thick white, I guess it's a cream, um, you know how Neutrogena products work. You can use it just as a face wash or you can let it sit for um, a more like intense mask. It's pretty okay. It gives me like a cool tingly feeling to my face. I don't think it was anything like um, crazy great so I probably wouldn't repurchase this again. Next I have the Clinique Even Better Clinical Dark Spot Corrector. This is so hyped up. Um, this size is 1 and 7, 1.7 fluid ounces. This was about $80. Yeah, $80. And I would definitely not repurchase this. It took me a good, um, three months I would say to go through the entire thing. I don't think it did anything drastic for any type of um, marks on my face like any post acne marks or anything like that. I would not repurchase this and I wouldn't even recommend it. I think it's just overly priced like $80 in three months and it probably didn't do anything better. I know it didn't in the products that I'm going to show you next so don't waste your money on this. 
All right, so the next things I have are all from Yes, the Yes brand. The first thing is the Yes to Cut Cucumbers Soothing Sensitive Skin Calming Night Cream. This I really like. Um, smells like cucumbers, but not like a really like heavy vegetable cucumber smell. It's a really thick cream, but I used it at night. It did really calm my face. If I, you know, had used any type of exfoliant at night and my face was like super red or had any type of breakouts, this really did calm it and try to combat the redness and it made my skin feel really like i don't know it's like a really nice like kind of luxury feeling night cream that i would definitely repurchase so i really enjoy using that it lasted a pretty long time and then the next things i have are all from the yes to grapefruit i tried the dark circle correcting eye cream i think eye cream is kind of like an eye cream as long as it doesn't burn my eyes um if it gets you know anywhere near my lash line i'm pretty cool with it i typically like to go for thicker ones because i have some fine lines down here i just want to make sure the area is pretty moisturized so this was like pretty cool um as far as like anything for dark circles no because i don't really think a topical cream is going to do anything for dark circles the next thing i have is a dark spot correcting serum so you can use this day and night um i think this was okay it was kind of cool um if you want to go for like a natural version of lightning spots i think this is pretty good and i definitely would repurchase it it's just rather expensive i think it's like 20 dollars. and then, so next i have the even skin tone moisturizer this is pretty cool it smells really good i think it did do a pretty nice job of evening out my skin tone this is more so for just evening out all of your skin and this serum is more so for like actual spots that you want to use but it's a nice moisturizer that didn't leave my face like feeling super greasy 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 yeah so i would repurchase this also and then the last two things i have are from the botanics brand by boots that's a target the first thing i have is a rose water toning spritz 100 percent organic uh whatever toner um so yeah it looks like that this is really cool i love any type of i love toners i think that's my favorite part of skincare and i like i really enjoy the ones that you can like spray onto your face i might just take like my other toner and put this cap on top of it because i really just love spraying my face it just makes you feel cool and refreshed and clean and da -da -da. so i would i would repurchase that plus it's only like seven or eight dollars the other one i have is the mattifying toner shine away which i featured in my april favorites i believe but this is really cool it had um kind of like a, a water oil not oil like a water base here and then like a powder some type of solution on the bottom you shake it up and then you know go ahead to tone away and it is really nice at like drying up oils or helping with oils i don't think it did anything crazy with oil control um but i did really really like it so if you have like super oily skin you might want to try this out because it might just work great for you so i'm going to stop there because i have a ton of makeup items and i don't want this video to be like 20 minutes long so i'll just include all of these in this video and then i'll do another video right behind this one with all the makeup products that i finished up so yeah that was everything that was kind of a lot but it's so like great when you buy so many things it's so awesome when you finish them because you just feel so accomplished but anyway thank you guys so much as always for watching and i will see you in the next video bye